This was about studying how people in the way they move and the way they respond to each other's movements, kind of the very basic sensory motor constraints on group behavior. This collection of speakers and digital drum pads that are all wired together is basically the same thing as a drum circle. It's just that we can record every single drum hit from the participants. So they were all drumming the same thing and the pattern was very, very simple. The difficult part in it is to be consistent. It's even more difficult when you have to be consistent with seven other people. So we went into the auditorium, I think it is, and we played with like buckets and we used them as drums. So we flipped them over. There was like stuff inside that could help track what we do. And then we would hit it, we'd do specific beats and try to keep tempo with the person leading it. And we came in here later and basically did the same thing, except instead of someone leading us, we all just kind of did it at the same time. And it was different beats at different tempos. The bucket drums were really cool. And because I'd never actually done a bucket drum before, typically you do it in like kindergarten and just smack it, except that's the first time where I've actually done it with like drumsticks and everything. And that was a good experience that I enjoyed. So the complexity science is the thing that actually has been trying to put this intuition into formal terms. To come up with mathematical models that show how interacting units, when they're put together in a group, make something happen at the, at the group level that does not exist at the individual level. We're happy that we're, we have participants who are excited and who find something that will, kind of, they can tell stories about it when they go home.